Good morning. Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday to y'all, baby. Yeah. Woo! Happy Friday, y'all. Man, this it be it be hard. It be hard getting up. Look, first, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for clicking on my video. I want you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell to be notified when your girl upload another video. And when I go live and when I do anything, okay, you'll be notified of that. Okay, you don't want to miss out. Be a month later, you done missed out on a good message or something. Y'all got to be notified, okay? Share, like, and comment. Y'all know I like comments. Y'all already know. Hit that subscribe button, y'all. Look. Woo! Three-day weekend off Monday. Got to go in tomorrow, though, for OT. So, yeah. Look here, you guys. Um, woo! Folks, it's crazy, y'all. We, we got to be careful, y'all. Look here. So, I was talking to my aunt. She lives in Oklahoma. And she was telling me they got to make my day law. And I was like, what is make your day? And she said, yeah, they got to make your day law out here. So because they are they are legally they can walk around with with a gun. Anybody can. As long as it's registered. I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, and they got to make my day law. And what that means is. If somebody come on your property. You have the right to shoot them. I was like, what? And it's called make my day. Yeah, make my day. In other words, they'd be happy to shoot you, put a bullet in your ass. Make my day law. And, the, and they, I think Texas got that law too where you can, um, as long as your gun is registered, you can pack. I'm, what? Folks, and you know what? Let me tell you, we have to be careful, you guys, because people with, with things that are going on today and people are unstable. OK, and she was telling me about uh, a fast food restaurant in her in her in her state that she was watching on TV last night when a man got upset that his order wasn't correct. He left and came back. And shot the place up. Killed two uh, cashiers and injured somebody else. All because his order was incorrect. All because his order was incorrect. But, you know, I got to go deeper than that. That was just the straw that broke the camel's back. There's no telling what else he's been going through. It is a lot going on in this world. And there are a lot of people walking around here that are unstable. And all that driving, cutting folks off, speeding, tailgating, all that stuff. Folks is dying out here. People is getting out their cars and whooping your butt. People are, people are unstable. We have to be careful. I'll be telling my, let me tell you, I'll be telling my daughter this. My daughter straight up has road rage. And I am so worried about her being in L.A. And she says she doesn't, but she does. I'll be on the phone with her sometimes. She'd be honking the horn, cussing. And I'm like, what is going on? I had, I had to cut this person off because they cut me off. If you don't stop. I said, do you ever watch the news how people be really, people be killing folks for a, a world rage? Getting out their car with bats? Beating them up? Shooting them? People, you, let alone, you can't even argue with people you know, let alone a stranger. You don't know what this on their mind. You don't know what they've been going through. You could be that strong. That broke that camel's back. Okay, we have to value our lives more. 
Okay, you're not going to get to your destination no faster. Okay, I'll be telling her that. Calm down. Okay, just because you going through something. It is not these people fault out here that you're going through what you're going through. And now that's a general statement. A lot of times we be having stuff. It's, it's not that other person's fault that you're going through what you're going through or that you have to work and you have to do certain things. We have to, we have to value our lives a little bit more because the next person, they don't value our lives. We have to value our life. Sometimes we have to walk away, turn the other cheek, Woo saw. We have to. Because I don't care where you go, Walmart, look, I call it Wally World. Wall, Wally World, Walmart. It's always something going on in Walmart. These restaurants, folks get to arguing and fighting all in public. Don't nobody have no kind of, there's no, um, back in the day, you know, things were private. There's no privacy nowadays. They just just do whatever all in public. Nobody has any self-control, no privacy. There's a lot of people out there that don't have the same morals you have. You cannot be out there arguing with people over stuff that just don't make no sense. If you go to the restaurant, your order ain't right. You, you go there and you say, you know, I, I ordered a large fry. You gave me a small. And then if they say, well, I accidentally charged you for the small. Well, then, don't, OK, then pay the extra 60 cent if you have to have a large. Don't get mad cussing and fighting. Over an over a order of fries. And it's really not the order of fries. Like I said before, it's deeper than that. That could be the straw. But even if you are going through something, that straw is not worth it. Don't let that be the straw. Don't entertain it. Don't even entertain it. You know? And I, I, I'm back on my daughter again because she does have road rage. And she be just laying on the horn. And I'm thinking if somebody was to roll up on you and just shoot, shoot in through the car, then what? Then what? You tripping off of, off of them driving too slow because you, you trying to get to your appointment. You should have left earlier. You shouldn't have been you know, moseying along in the house. You should have got up earlier. You should have went to bed earlier. So you could get up earlier. So you can get yourself together. So you can leave earlier. You always give yourself time. So now because you got an appointment you got to get to. You got 15 minutes to get there. And everybody else is driving at the speed limit. And they're not driving in fast enough for you. So you want to go honking and, and speeding around them and cutting them off and tailgating and all that just to get them out your way. And then if something happened, then what? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you guys, uh, we have to really, we really, really be careful out there with 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 other people that's around us we got to be uh, cautious and aware of our surroundings at all times at all times okay because when she told me that they, they they gotta make my day long do you know how many people be happy for somebody to step on their lawn just so they can do that or if they're in a bad mood they just be waiting for somebody to come over to, to their house don't let no Jehovah Witness come knock on their door. They got to make my day law. If somebody come on your property that you don't want them there, you have the right to shoot them. That to me is crazy. That is absurd. Who in the right mind will create a law like that? And they have that out there. 
I am so glad that law is not out here in California because I was just watching on the news in my town. They two students in the Elk Grove school, Elk Grove uh, High School, two students brought in guns and bullets. Someone told the authorities so they hid the guns and the bullet under the bleachers in the gym. But nobody won't say who brought the guns in. Somebody know. Trust me. Somebody know. Kids, bringing in guns with the bullets. Can you imagine having a make my day law out here? It would be a straight war zone. A straight war zone. Y'all, we got to get us. We got to get it together, y'all. We, we, we can't be out there just arguing and 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 getting all upset at other people. We don't know where their mind frame is at. We don't know what these what people it, intentions are and motives are and they limits are. We don't even know. Be careful, you guys. That's what I want to tell you guys today, because you don't want to be that person's last straw. Don't be that person's last straw, y'all. That's all I wanted to say, because me and her was talking and I just said, oh, no. I got to talk about that today. I got to talk about that because that road rage ain't no joke. OK. Folks be on a whole nother agenda. Believe that. Look here. I just want to give y'all a quick video and tell y'all to check yourself before you wreck yourself, baby. Because, honey, cold, cold world. Look here. Head up, chest out. Nose just like this and put a smile on your face today. Just put a smile on your face. And if you feel like frowning, smile. Turn that frown upside down and smile. Okay? It'll make you feel better. And I ain't going to even tell y'all to stay sucker free. You already know that. So until the next video, peace.